a done deal. And with that signature, recreational marijuana is now a law in the Bay State. Changed just a bit from what voters approved last November. This new law creates a cannabis control commission to regulate the sale of pot. As Boston 25 News reporter Kelly Sullivan learned, there are still some things the commission cannot control. Lawmakers spent months crafting what they believe is a practical law when it comes to regulating recreational marijuana. But even some supporters say the law still has some flaws when it comes to public safety. He signed it even though he still opposes it. I, I don't support this. Um, I worry terribly about um, what the consequences over time will be. Lawmakers estimate over time, recreational marijuana will be a multi billion dollar industry that sells safe products to consenting adults. And the new legislation creates a cannabis control commission that will oversee recreational pot sales that will include setting potency limits and packaging requirements. But what it can't control? Homegrown marijuana. Boston 25 News was with Senator Jason Lewis when he went to Colorado to see how the state handles its recreational marijuana laws. And one problem he found illegal grow operations hiding within the legal market. In fact, we've seen, and I've talked to law enforcement out there, many examples of criminal you know, gangs that have actually bought houses um, to turn them into grow houses. And we do not want to see that happening in Massachusetts. We do not want to become a smuggling hub for the Northeast. Households with two adults can grow up to 12. Plants and limited amounts of marijuana can be gifted to others, not sold. But some are afraid if the new Cannabis Control Commission doesn't get enough funding to start issuing licenses and regulate the market, more dangerous and unknown substances will be illegally sold on the streets. Our fear is that if there's not adequate funding, there's going to be further delays and we're going to see the same, you know, untested product being sold. Now with fentanyl everywhere, it's just that it's just too dangerous of a risk to take on. The goal is for policymakers to have retail shops licensed by July of 2018. Reporting in the control room, Kelly Sullivan, Boston 25 News.